I guess I'll take one for the team. Not even your mom will recognize you after I'm done. As long as your mom recognizes me. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Alright everybody, we are here today checking out a little upcoming banger. This right here is Mod Lake. And this is one that I caught wind of earlier in the year. And everything about it just kind of captivated me. It's one that I'm actually looking forward to quite a bit. This, based on what I saw, what I read, reminded me a lot of, uh, say, Lakeview Valley. Even, you know, that pixely type of art style that's kind of cartoony but also very gruesome. Lakeview Valley meets uh, the craziness of a kindergarten. If you've played either the one or the, the first one for a fact, and I believe they also came out with a sequel not too long ago. But essentially what happens if you were to take both of those games and smash them up together? Okay, we're at the countryside of Mod Lake the night before the eclipse. Yoko House. Countryside. It's not what you want to see at night, I'd say, as a child. Go away, leave me alone! Help! Ah, uh, it was just a nightmare. Indeed it was, Cameron. Maybe. I don't want to get out of bed, but I have to pee real bad. You know, when you gotta go, you gotta go, my friend. Okay, WASD, left shift, I guess, would be to run. So you're seeing this, like, another thing I forgot to mention, it also kind of gave me a bit of a Maniac Mansion vibe, just because you're going to be able to switch between characters and all of them have different abilities, which will help you proceed with the game. Um, so yeah, everything about this so far looks amazing, especially the outside with the fog rolling in. And you know, I'm a sucker for pixel art, so let's go. I just wanted to play with these toys, but my foster parents won't let me. Why would they buy so many? Foster child, huh? Billy, where are you? Who is Billy? I'm gonna pop this where that monster was at? Oh, Billy! Stop barking, I told father I left you in the woods. I don't want to find out that you're st I don't want him to find out you're still here. Now this game doesn't have like a progression, unfortunately, like, you know, text, like, you know, you read and then you click. <laughs> so when it shows up, you best read it, otherwise, you ain't coming back to it. But I guess you could always read the last conversation. That's nice. Okay. I guess it's something, right? Uh, Billy, do you remember where the restroom is in my house? I already forgot. Mother, father, do you hear me? They aren't answering. It's because they're dead, Cameron. I better stop making noises or they'll... They will hit me again. Oh. That's... Alright. Reading our ideas of what's happening here in this world, huh? Oh, that looks like a restroom to me, Billy. What is it, Billy? Do you see something? Why would we approach it if we see something? Billy, did you see that? Oh, I mean, everybody saw it, dude. Billy, stop. Billy? Go to the kitchen or follow Billy? Is... The kitchen in there? Well, for the premise of, you know, finding, you know, a bad... I think this game also has, like, bad game over so we should show off, so... Considering, I think maybe that's a kitchen. Let's go, let's go find out what's happening in the kitchen. Oh, it disappeared. Coward, you better run. There's a letter. Attention, Mr. Yokel. Quite a name, by the way. We are pleased to announce that your foster child has been chosen by the Mark. We will pick him up tomorrow morning. Sincerely, Clifford Larve. Larve. Mott's Larve. Billy, he ran out. To push an object, use F. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this box here with me. Where we're we going? Well, you know, what's stopping us? Oh, the key right there. Okay. It's gonna help us acquire height. So, I guess I needed this key to get outside otherwise? Yep. 
I still can't get over the idea of doors that you need keys from the inside out. I know the Euro Bros tell me all the time about them, but I, I, it still boggles my mind. Where in the heck did you go, Billy? I shouldn't go out after dark, but I have to find Billy. I feel like Billy would have been a better name for the... Yeah, I saw it. I feel like Billy would have been a better name for the child here, you know? Maybe the dog should have been Cameron. I can see more of a dog named Cameron, but this kid just kind of exudes a Billy vibe. I don't like scarecrows. Yeah, especially ones that move. What? Why are you trying to give me a seizure for? Okay, please. <laughs> I'm sorry for anybody who suffers from that flashing light. That, that was excessive. Okay, so we want to hide behind these uh, things whenever homeboy shows up. I got you. I got you. The pit is so deep, I can't jump across. Oh, okay. I can push this object. Oh, I see. So push the stack. And um, it should, you know, by force. You gotta, you gotta move forward though, Falcon. Yeah, push that over. Perfect. Billy's favorite toy. Ooh. Safe here. Oh, you. At least he took mercy on us and now, you know, trying to give us a seizure again. I hear someone breathing in this log. Billy, are you in there? I'm not sure if that's the sound. Those breathing sounds are that of a dog. But, again, if we could find ourselves a game over, that's fine. Enter the log, sure. A lot of mods around. I'm telling you. That larvae group, or Mr. Larvae, whatever their name was. What is this? Why am I moving this? That letter that Mr. Yoko or Boston Perrin got, I ain't feeling it. Oh, oh, that's what it was for. I got gotcha. you. Okay. I figure if I keep moving him, something's about to happen, right? Mr. Radicate? I'll come by you if you don't mind. Um, seizure inducing time. Why? Why was happening? <gasps> oh, I see. Keep, keep moving. Okay. So I guess this tunnel never ends here, huh? This pipe. Oh. Oh, keep, keep moving. Oh, I thought I was safe. Yeah. You were behind me, though. What am I doing out here in the fields by myself at night? Yeah, I mean, you were looking for the dog. Billy, where are you? I'm scared. I'm not even sure how Billy got out, by the way. I mean, the door was locked. How did he get out? I guess he has a doggy door, huh? That could be it. A bucket. Do we need this bucket? Cam? Is that why it intrigues you? <gasps> it's chill. Billy! Did you fall into the well? Stone. Well, I mean, obviously. <laughs> well, yeah, you got it because it's literally a well. I was going to say, there's a well. 
But some obvious is missing a bucket. We know where our bucket's at. We picked up a stone. I think I have an idea what's about to go down here. But this uh, creature must leave the premise. Bring up items. And stone. Jump in the bucket. Billy, are you in there? Maybe he's not here. I mean, what gave you the impression he was? Did you hear a howl or something? <laughs> well, now we jump over to Mod Lake High School nine hours before the eclipse. A council of elders sold to the newborns and those who were deemed weak. We're taken on top of Mount Tig, get us and thrown off a cliff to gain the favor of the Spartan people. Hey, Brew. You look like shit today. What's up? Oh, uh, not much. I was just thinking about my hamsters. Last night, they all died while trying to get out of their cage. Really? My turtle also tried to escape. I found her in the street on my way to school. I'm so glad she's slow. Otherwise, there's no telling where, crazy, where that crazy girl could have gone. Animals in the run? That's so weird. I guess they can also sense how much Mont Lake sucks. What's on your arm, bro? So cool. You got a tattoo? Oh my god, it says useless kid? It's my thing. You won't understand. Okay, okay. Keep your secrets, boar. Hey, you big mouths back there. Professor Chrysalis? What's up with these names? Can you tell me what I was talking about? Are you already counting about something about summer school? Shut up! Let Fisher tell us the answer. Uh, you were talking about Greece, dog. Ancient Greece, and more precisely, you're talking about the Spartans who were total assholes to their babies. Watch your language or I'll kick you out of class. Um, excuse me, Mr. Chrysalis. Can I go to the restroom? Sure, go right ahead. You're gonna fail the next test even if you listen to the lecture. Very supporting teacher that we have here. So we have a something person larvae from that letter that we got. We have a Professor Chrysalis. Mott's here as well, of course. Oh. We'll be... Uh... Weird. Thought I heard Fred. Obi, come with me. Who is this? You assholes think you're funny? Red, is it really you? Come, Toby. Hmm, I don't know about this one, Toby. Door is locked. Maybe this is where the janitor keeps the key. Does he now? Ooh. A little bit of the male persuasion here, huh? It's called Ooh La La Magazine. Oh, this could move. Oh, okay. Bit of the trickery of the eye. What was I thinking? It's just an empty classroom. Just a book. Oh. oh, that was like some Jeepers Creepers type of stuff right there. What are you doing in this empty classroom by yourself, dog? Toby. F Freddy, how is it possible? You... I died? <laughs> Progressively coming after us. I... we should... Run, I guess? It's locked. I mean, we needed to go to the restroom, right, didn't we? Hide in here. That's pretty cool. It's like little splashy water effects in the screen. What is happening? The hell is this?
puzzle of some kind. Why? I don't know. Get out of here. You get out of here. You get, <laughs> you get out of here. Um, Ball, I, I need you to apparently come into this hole. Is that the case? It's Freddy. Some days anxiety takes over me. It's hard to describe how I feel. Nightmares surface from my subconscious and trap me. It's Freddy. What's up? Are you freaked out by the dustbin? What, what are you? What are you? What are the ladies doing here? Did he hit you again? It's just the way he is. He isn't a bad guy. Oh, of course not. No, he, he beats me because he loves me. Um, girls, there's pizza face over here eavesdropping. I'm not eavesdropping. I just wanted to say hi to Alba. Leave him alone, Cora, and please don't body shame. Hi, Toby. What are you guys doing in the guy? What are you doing in the guy's restroom? We could ask you the same thing. Oh, that's cute, Cora. That's a cute one. Mrs. Poopa? Chrysalis? Poopa? Larvae? Yeah, nobody bothers us here. Well, nobody besides you. You know, Alba, you deserve much better than that shitbag named Cory. What do you mean with much better? You? Cora's got all the fucking, uh, zingers, doesn't she? Does this insult really have to be here? God. Can't imagine going to school nowadays with all the, uh, modern day and verbiage and memes. The freak is right. Looky, looky, Fisher's here, a shitter inside the shitter. <laughs> oh, he's basically a Russian doll. Are you trying to steal my girl, monster? Not only, not the only chance he has is to make out with the toilet. Yeah, but the smell of your breath, I'd say you already did it, no? My hands are tingling. I haven't punched anyone yet today. Yeah, the tingling could be psoriasis. You should go to the dermatologist. Where do you think you're going? Hold them, guys. Please, Corey, let me go. Don't be afraid. I'm only going to hit your face once. If you mean with your spittle, you already hit him 200 times. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, Toby. Come on, Corey. I I'm right here. I'll have a talk with you later. I don't like you speaking with pizza face. Why can't you just go fuck yourself, Corey? Did you guys hear that? The monster has some spine. Don't you remember how it ended up last time? Punch his face to a pulp, Corey. It's kind of gross to punch his face. My hands will get covered in pimples. I guess I'll take one for the team. Not even your mom will recognize you after I'm done. React or ignore? I mean, we're gonna react, right? As long as your mom recognizes me. Oh, that's actually a good one. Okay, that's that's good. You're so funny. Let's see if you can laugh without teeth. Let's have some fun. We need to throw down or what, dog? Oh, we are. <laughs> can I? What do I do? Can I swing? How do I swing? Oh, I hit him. Oh, God, he's kicking my ass. <laughs> ah, okay, swing. Turn around. Oh, I got him. Oh. It's really hard to turn on my diamond this gun this game. What the hell did I do? Adam, run. What did I do? You're dead, monster. Did you hear me? I'm going to kill you. This is an hour later. I'm not sure what I did. I was fighting the dude, and apparently he suddenly, I, I, <laughs> I, you punch it with E, but I guess I triggered some sort of, like, you know, hot spot to actually progress that, so I never had to really fight him, I suppose. Toby, the fuck are you doing here? No school today? You, you're the smart one. You can't play hooky. Yeah, I went to school, but I had some bullying issues. I left before smashing them into the ground. I'm sure that was going to happen. I can only imagine. You're the perfect example of a slugger. Oh, Toby, is it you? Uh, I thought we were talking with Chuck Norris. Alright, drop the ladder so I can climb up. 
So, what's the news at school? Is everyone shitting their panties for the eclipse? Yeah, as if it was a big deal. All this excitement says a lot about how boring this shithole of a city is. Although, something really happened last night. They say that all the animals ran away from the city. Everyone was talking about it at school, then coming here I saw the town covered in missing pet notices. Uh, something's happening. I saw a horror movie that begins like this and then everyone turns into a zombie. Looks like it's not just the animals that disappeared. Read this. A family of hillbillies reported their kid missing last night. I knew you weren't just gonna look at the comics. Here we go. The zombies already claimed the first kid. It's time we build a potato shooter and fortify the treehouse with barbed wire. Uh, the baby hillbilly lived outside of town. Maybe some wild animals ate him. Or maybe it was the chupacabra that Toby saw when he was a kid. I say let's go check out that kid's house. Maybe we can look and find him stuck in the well or something. I don't know why, but we tend to always get hurt when we have adventures. Okay, seven hours to the eclipse, so now we're rolling with our homies here. Are you limping, Murray? You know very well one of my legs is shorter than the other, dumbass. <laughs> really? I thought it was just an excuse for skipping PE, just like Toby's fake asthma. My asthma's also real, genius. What the fuck are you telling me? My whole life my whole life is a lie. I like Scrapper, he's like basically the the troll of the group. To select a different character, press O whenever possible. Okay. Does anybody know how to read the timetable? Does anybody know how to read in general? What is this? Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Maybe that. That's for that one. Oh, I think we're kind of connected it somehow. Uh, what about this one? It's gonna be for you, that's fine. And then you down here. Hey, that works. Haha! <laughs> Got it. Well, we have to wait for the 46. Oh, it's a girl from school. Oh, and, uh, Bru Bruno. Hey, Toby, where did you go? I think you're in trouble. Mr. Crystal has made a huge fuss when you didn't come back to class. Eh, oh, fuck it. This school year's a bus for me anyway. I already know I'm going to summer school. Oh, good. So you won't come up with more excuses to go to class. Let's go to the lake tomorrow. Uh, hi, Ellie. Hey, hey. How are you, Slender Girl? Are the teachers still asking about Murray and I? They, they pretend you don't exist. They don't even call your names while taking attendance. Your two desks are quiet and empty. It's so sad. That's how your Brahmas feel like. Oh, Scrapper, he doesn't stop. You're right, I do wish I had nice boobies like yours, Scrapper. Oh, no! Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> These guys over here swinging for the fences. I like those, actually. Where are you at the bus stop? Are you going on a field trip? Nah, uh, kinda. Do you want to join in for a, ma a manhunt? Or, more precisely, a baby hunt. Did you hear about the runaway kid, too? You mean the kid that was eaten by cannibal hillbillies? So, are you coming or not? Oh, please. Don't leave me alone with these two dorks. I need some normal people. Come on, Brew. You'd just be watching MTV all day. That's still a thing. Let's go. The little hillbilly needs us. Oh, is that where it ends? Damn. Well, definitely intrigued. It seems that the kid is still there. Maybe we will find him. That being said, everybody, I'm going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up on the video. And maybe there's enough interest when the full game comes out, we come back to get a little revisited. Maybe do some more of it beyond that point. We'll see. But it's definitely a game that uh, I'm definitely intrigued by. Absolutely love the setting. I'll catch you guys next time.